Hello and welcome to the calculator guide video on using rechargeable batteries in your Casio ClassPad 2 FXCP400. In a previous video I unboxed my new FXCP400 Casio ClassPad and I just put in the generic batteries that you get included free with it just to show you what it was like when you switched the ClassPad on and the starter procedure that you need to do but I'm going to replace those with some rechargeable batteries. Now, I've been using rechargeable batteries in my various different devices, remote controls, that sort of thing, for a, a short while now. So I tend to put them in any device that requires either a AA or a AAA battery. Now I'm using the Panasonic Eneloop, uh, which I've always found are quite good. Uh, these are the standard variety, although there is a pro version as well, which you may wish to use. They've got a higher capacity than the standard ones. And typically the class pad, if you're using it a lot, is quite a high usage device. So you may wish to go for those. Another recommendation that I've had from a calculator guide viewer is the Tibet batteries also available on Amazon. I'm going to put Amazon links to all the batteries below if you want to get a set of those. Now you need four batteries, so here they are. Here are the original batteries. Now what I tend to find with free batteries, I'm sure you've experienced it yourself, is that they don't usually last very long. So I tend not to use them or use them up very quickly and then replace them with rechargeable batteries. You can just quickly insert the inner loop batteries there and then close it up. And it's the same procedure. If you've seen the unboxing video, you need to calibrate the screen by pressing on the crosses with the stylus and then you need to select whatever language you want to use the class pad in. I'm going to select English, the type of keyboard, I'm going for QWERTY. And here's where there's a slight difference here. Originally I selected alkaline batteries, which are the standard non-rechargeable batteries that you get. But what I want to select is the bottom one, the nickel metal hydride batteries, which are the typical rechargeable type. So you just need to select the option below and then it will just confirm that you need to select the correct type of batteries in order to get an accurate estimation of the battery life that's remaining. In fact, I had a look in the class pad manual online and the recommendation from Casio is that you need to be sure to replace the batteries at least once a year, no matter how much you use the class pad during that time. So therefore it's definitely worthwhile considering exchanging two rechargeable batteries if you're going to use it quite frequently. Typical usage will be about 100 hours with an alkaline battery, about 60 hours with a rechargeable battery, but then of course you can recharge those and go again. So you're probably going to replace them more than once in a year, but the recommendation is change them at least once a year from Casio, regardless of how much you use it, and certainly worthwhile doing if you're going to use it in class or if you're using it with an exam where it is allowed then you may want to make sure that you've got fully powered batteries before you go in for that so there you go how to change to rechargeable batteries on your casio class pad 2 but that's it for this video and i'll see you next time on the calculator guide